channel my name is Brian Kingsbury I'm a full-time reseller and a freelance photographer today we're not going to be doing any reselling content we're gonna do a little adventure hike we're here at uh, Bellingham Technical College and we're gonna take the Squalicum Parkway trail down to the water so let's get started so there's a nice little trail here that starts at uh, Bellingham Technical College and heads on down to the water this is the one we're gonna head on uh oh we got a lost dog here Neon green collar. Look at that little guy. You guys seen him? There's the number. Give it a call. 509-344-9114. Here it is. It's the Bay to Baker Trail. Squalicum Beach is 0.3 miles away. So let's head on down the trail and get there. Little Squalicum Estuary Project. It's always nice to see what's going on down here. Bellingham, uh, the city, does a great job to keep us informed. So they got this project going on. You want to find out about it come out here and check it out so there's some nice blackberry bushes out here nice little trails and tall grass they have seen some signs out here for herons and frogs critical critical habitat habitat please do not enter so this is a off-limits area Crit critical habitat so you can't go in there a healthy park starts with you from your neighborhood to Bellingham Bay. We do have a lot of nice signage out here. You can educate yourself on how to keep these parks looking nice. This looks like a good frisbee field to me. What do you guys think? Good frisbee field? Sunny's over there getting the last of those blackberries. I think she found a few. They do have some of these nice pretty purple flowers off the side here. Thought I'd get a nice shot of those. So what kind of person are you? Do you eat the berries off the side of the road here? Off the side of the trail? Are you that type of person? You just reach up there and eat those berries? Or are you like me, a little reluctant to eat them? Let me know in the comments. So we got a little Y here. You can go left or go right. A couple rocks. Sunny's leading the way, so I assume she knows where she's going. We're gonna head down this right trail. Look at these big leaves off of the trail here. Nice batch of them. you're looking for something to gather water that would be the one that lost dog again have you guys seen it keep your eye out they got signs all over looking for them so it looks like this uh, area is closed the estuary project has this uh, trail closed off so we're not going to be able to get through here uh, let's see got a big fence up so we'll have to find another route down there, I guess. Restricted area, so we're gonna have to find a different route. Look at these huge boulders off the side of the trail. There's one over here. Someone dumped a little uh, bark there. And there's another boulder there. Another huge one here. I wonder if these are dropped, uh, dropped by a tractor or what. There's some big ones out here. Another huge boulder. So there's about four huge boulders I've seen out here. I'd imagine someone brought these out here and uh, put them there. Boulder, 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 boulder. This is like a boulder park. There's more boulders over here. So I think what we decide is we're gonna hit up this stairwell over here. Try to head towards that beach. Get a nice little stairwell here. Get a few steps in up here. I guess this is the oxy wall here. So here's the top of that staircase. Kind of look down on where we came over there. And we're back on the open trail again. Nice wide open trail up here. Well maintained, so we're gonna head our way to the beach. So we took a turn to the right, assuming that's headed toward the water. Kind of kind of winging it out here because we're not that familiar with all these trails. There's a nice little shady area here, and then you open up into some more sunshine. Sunny thinks it opens up to a street, so we're going to wing it. We're on an adventure. We're going to see where it takes us. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this is kind of a paved uh, trail, so someone in a wheelchair might be able to handle this one. So we crossed the big road and we're on the sidewalk now, crossing this bridge here. I think we are 
just off of Illinois and uh, making our way toward the water. So here's a look at the trail that they have uh, closed off due to that estuary project. Uh, right down there they have that uh, all shut down with the orange fencing all the way down. Here's a look at the project that they were talking about. They have all the tractors and the bobcats and the all, everything to work on the land and move that earth around. It's right over by that bridge there so we're gonna keep on going. We see the water now so we're, th we're within reach. Here we go, we're entering Bellingham now. So what do you guys think? You guys gonna vote for Garrett? Look at these nice mailboxes they have down here. So I did notice I did spot a couple flowers here. Snapped a couple shots of those, pretty red ones. So it's a bit unfortunate that uh, nice trail was uh, closed due to that uh, estuary project, but it is, uh, at least we do have this nice sidewalk to walk down. And, uh, it's clean, there's a little traffic we gotta deal with uh, driving by, but we should get there in, uh, in no time. We do have some nice lavender here off to the left of the trail here, off of the sidewalk. So we're here on Seaview and Eldridge. We're gonna use this cross street to head down, down to the water. Again, they do have nice sidewalks all the way down to that waterway, so nice, uh, safe little hike for us. So we made it down to Rotor and Seaview. This is the little uh, street that heads out to the beach area. They have these old railroad tracks here. It's always fun to kind of get off the street and walk along these, get away from the noise. It wasn't as peaceful as I'd hoped since we weren't on the trail, but... Um, we're getting to it now, so we should get out there pretty soon. Sunny says she's having a little standby me moment. She thinks that train's gonna come. She's gonna have to take off running. So I have been out here before to photograph the waterway. So there's a lot of birds up here in this little hangar. You can hear them uh, chirping away. But I think they have nests up there under all that uh, ratty covering. Got a gentleman out here on his electric bike, taking in the sunshine, looking good. So you, your, your name is Sam, is that what it was? Yeah. Okay, and you're here with your electric bike and you said you bought it in, in town here? Or? I bought it online. Oh, bought it online, yeah. okay. Yeah. And how long have you had it? The company is in California and I've had it for about two and a half years. Two and a half years, yeah. you, you do a lot of riding on it? I do. Yeah. Uh, I'm just ready to turn 800 miles, but I only ride during the uh, about four months of the, of the year. Uh -huh. I don't ride in rain or cold. So, so you're kind of a fair weather rider, fair weather huh? Rider. All right, so you got you got about 800 miles on this one, huh? Yeah. And what do you like about it? Um, it's responsive. Responsive. Uh, it's well engineered. It's sturdy. Um, if you learn how to ride it, you can take it on trails too. Which mm -hmm. is what I do mostly. A little trail riding on it. Trail riding, yeah. Does and it kind of fold up? It looks like. It folds up. Yeah. It puts fits in your trunk, so you nice. don't need a bike rack. If you have a little station wagon, it's perfect for that. So you just picked it up online, huh? Yeah, yeah, and they're still available at about the same price they were two and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah, the market's and they, interesting. Yeah, they got a 3.0 out now. This is 1.0. You looking to upgrade? Or are you happy with it? You got? I love it. I love you what I got. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the interview, Sam. I'll let you be and uh, enjoy enjoy the sunshine. All right. My pleasure. You all too. right. Thank all you. Right, yeah. So Cindy found her way over here to the waterfront. We got the semi trucks loading up over there. Let me give you guys a look at the bay here. Looks like they got some sailboats over there off of Zuanich, but we're just a little bit further down. Give you guys a look at this. Uh, it's pretty bright out here. Hopefully it turns out all right. So I want to thank Sam for taking a moment out of his day to tell me about his electric bike. Give me the details and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little interview. So I'm looking out over this pier onto my right and there's a bunch of dogs kind of running in the water over there. Pretty interesting. This beach always has a lot of uh, dogs walking on it. So we think what we're looking at is Lopez Island and Lummy over there. Sunny says Lummy. She says you can get over there by ferry. Is that correct? Okay. Or sailboat, right? If you had a sailboat, you could sail over to Lummy. Or you could just hop on the ferry. Look at this huge log they have out here. Thing's about four foot tall. It's another one of these cool logs. Look at that. 
What is this, a shark tooth? No, it's probably a boat. Sonny thought that was a shark tooth. There it is, pedal. That's what, uh, that's what Sam's doing on that electric bike. Go Sam, go. So we decided to walk our way down this shore over toward those sailboats. Maybe we can get a couple shots of those sailboats. See what's happening over there. This is kind of interesting to have all this rebar all bent up kind of crazy like. Right along the water here. Something uh, you don't see very often. So we just passed Mount Baker Plywood. It's behind us now and we're, we're walking on this trail toward those sailboats. We should uh, be able to get a look at them soon. Look at this little thistle alongside the waterway here. It's very interesting. I might get a photo of that for you guys. So we got a boat coming in here. This is kind of where Trident Seafood is uh, located downtown here. Bellingham Cold Storage. So they have all these sailboats out here today. A little windy down here on the waterfront. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Over to the left past Trident there, past the cold storage is uh, Western Washington University. So it's all kind of down here, right by the waterfront. What do you guys think of this rock? We saw this down here. Looks like it has a little quartz or something in it. Thought it was kind of pretty. So that wind is picking up. Those waves are starting to crash a little bit here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that's the tip of Mount Baker over there. We're going to try to walk to the right here and see if we can get a shot of the Mount Baker. So you definitely uh, know we're on an adventure when we're on this kind of terrain. Uh, walking on these hard rocks here. But it looks like there's a little trail opening up there. So uh, I'm going to get a little ease on, a, on the old joints here. Sunny is being adventurous, walking on top of that log there. I'm probably not going to walk along that rock with all these cameras on my shoulders. So we, we were able to get up on top of this log and get a shot of Mount Baker over there. So along this trail they have all this thistle that's been hit by the wind. It's kind of facing all one way, obviously away from the water. Not sure if you guys can see that, but there is a paddle boarder out there. Make his way along those waves. So we found a little opening here, leads us back toward the water on the other side here. Look at this, alongside the water, people took all this driftwood and they turned it into a little sitting area. All these broken concrete blocks and driftwood. Some nice art up here, looks like they're creating some uh, ambiance here. You can look at it as you sit in their little uh, driftwood house there. Here's a better look at it from a little bit further away as you can see. All the construction, all the errant driftwood, they just picked it up and turned it into something they can uh, get a little shelter under here next to the water. As you can see, it's right here next to Waterway. It's a pretty cool idea, actually. Here's a look at the top roof area. They kind of laid it all out nicely. Give them a little shelter, a little roof on top of the thing. So there is plenty more driftwood out here if they want to add to this structure. I mean, there's a lot out here. Just washed up on the shore here. Look at this, all you rock, rock stackers. Here's a nice uh, conglomeration of rocks. They all piled up nicely. Let's get a better look at Someone this. Someone spent some serious time creating this. Look at it. Rocks all the way up to the top. Even some inside there. I'm not sure if they fell in there or that's how they built it. Here's a look at it from the other side. Pretty cool. Look at these pretty polished rocks polished to uh, perfection by the ocean there. kind of like the look at these uh, pillars that have kind of worn their way into little points at the end. I might get a photo of that. Sunny says she's seen a lot of oyster shells down here on the shore here. Here's a look at all these oyster shells here at the shore. She's right, there's a lot of them out here. All kinds of Opened oyster shells. Zoom you guys out, get you a look at this waterfront here. Downtown Bellingham. Not sure what building this is, it looks like a newer building. We're thinking maybe it's an engineering firm or something, but they got some prime real estate. Look at that, 
Those windows, that view of the bay there, that'd be a nice place to work. Look at these pallets stacked to the top. Bellingham Cold Storage, they're doing a good job stacking those things. So it looks like this beautiful building down here is for lease. So if you guys are interested, Heather Baker, 360-671-4200. She can get you in there. It is. It's the Gaston Bay building, 2925 down here. So we made a complete circle back here to these familiar railroad tracks. You saw these when we first came in. So we're uh, back on the trail, ready to go back. I'm gonna step down this hole. Look at that, about six feet down. So we're back on uh, Sea View here, working our way back up this uh, sidewalk to the main road up here. Shout out to Ruby. For some reason she needs her name on this bridge like four or five times. She must be important. So with this kind of ground cover you always gotta watch out for snakes. Sometimes there'll be little gardener snakes that are in this type of stuff. Look at this guy's lawn. Perfect landscape. Unfortunately, he does still have moles. Look at that. Several mole holes. That gardener is doing a nice job, I must say. That grass is nice and green. Good lines on it. Appreciate it. Look at that little mini mansion here, right on the bay. Beautiful home. Yeah, I do. What's the name? This is Wynn. This is Wynn. Yes. Hi, Wynn. Wynn thought I was uh, her son, but I'm not. <laughs> He's out here along the bay getting a nice walk in. Enjoy your walk, Wynn. So we took a little shortcut on the way back along the technical college here. Instead of that long route, we uh, took the short way back. So these crows are going after these bunnies over here. We're not sure. Uh, those bunnies are chasing the crows and the crows are chasing the bunnies. Not sure if they are trying to pick them up or what. Maybe they went after one of the young bunnies. But there's a little drama here. There's a little fight between these bunnies and these birds. There he goes. That bunny's not happy. He's going after that bird. That crow's up on that mailbox. Kind of eyeballing that bunny. So uh, there's a little back and forth here. Right in this front yard. Nature's, uh, nature's playground over here. All that action is right across from this uh, Bellingham Technical College, BTC as they call it, uh, where they have a lot of nice programs for the people to get uh, trained and get jobs in the so community. We're through campus here to get back to the car, taking a little shortcut through the BTC campus. Here's a look at the campus map. This is the layout of the school right here in the center. There's here. some cool art here. Sunny says this is all generated by students. Everything you see on campus. Here's a nice look at this structure here at BTC. All student generated, I've heard. So this one goes all the way up. It's probably uh, 15 feet tall, all the way up to the top of that tree. Here's a look at it from a different angle. Get you zoomed in on the top there so you can see it. Looks like a little globe on the top. It's a very interesting piece here in uh, BTC. Kind of the centerpiece here at the campus. So I'm gonna put a lot of work into that one. There is a nice little seating area at the bottom here. Not sure if you guys saw that. A little bench with some uh, small little uh, circular tables. Here's another piece, uh, another piece of art here at BTC. This is a nice big grasshopper. Looks like he's holding a sunflower or something. Got some cones around it, so maybe they're doing a little uh, work to him or cleaning them up or something, but. He's pretty cool. I like him. What do you guys think? Give you a look at this structure at the bottom here. It's kind of bright out here. But this base, uh, they might have moved him over here or something, but... Yeah, he's out here in the center of BTC. Again, I think this is another uh, student-made piece. So they have these flags out here on campus that says BU. Always good advice. Here's a look at the... BTC McCowan Courtyard. It's strange that princes and kings and clowns that caper in sawdust rings and common folk like you and me are builders for eternity. It's nice. Like there's another line. To each is given a bag of tools, a shapeless mass, and a book of rules. 
and each must make ere time has flown a stumbling block or a stepping stone. That is by R.L. Sharp. So this was dedicated to Patricia McCowan, 1984 to 2015. Thank you for your service to this uh, school, Patricia. They do have some beautiful lavender growing here in the courtyard area. Beautiful, nice, full purple bushes. Good scent to it as well. So we're here at BTC and we met uh, Pika here. You're going to take Pika on a little walk, is that the plan? Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And how old is Pika? She's um, seven. Seven? And what breed is she? She's a mutt. She's a mutt. A little bit of everything, huh? Yeah. Well, she sits very well, very well behaved. Well, thank you for introducing Pika to my uh, channel. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Enjoy your walk, Pika. <laughs> so we made our way back to the car. I want to thank everybody for watching. This is part of my adventure series. I'm trying to get to 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube so I can monetize my channel. So if you like these kind of adventure hikes, you like me uh, going out to these parks and taking these trails and showing you a little bit about what's going on in Bellingham and uh, surrounding areas, uh, please take a second to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that bell so you're notified of all these hikes and you can uh, hit play and take the adventure with us. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.